All right, so this is a 2007 Subaru Outback uh, with the turbo. Uh, what I'm gonna do is remove all this. This has already been lifted off. Um, I used a screwdriver and then remembered that I had uh, these tools. I went and got those. So this is already pried off. You just gotta be very careful. It just fits, uh, it's like a compression fitting there pries off um, and then you have this piece and then this is all one piece right here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this we're just gonna stick it in here and you can feel it lifted up already and then should be able to just pry it gently there we go and the whole thing lifted out now the shifter here so we're going to put the key on we're going to move our shifter put on the brake all the way down and get it out of the way and we're going to lift this out okay now the goal here is to move the ashtray the cigarette lighter which i've already done the repair but we'll just walk you through it here real quick. Um, what I did was unhook the cigarette uh, plug. That way you don't have to deal with the um, batteries because the switch is technically still on. So the cigarette lighter just unscrews. There's a silver housing back here and you'll just unscrew it. It's pretty, um, if you got this far, you can figure that out. So unscrew it. What I did was snip the wires off as close to the cigarette lighter as I could. Um, and then crimped on uh, these female fittings because this male fitting right here that has two male fittings has a polarity on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see those. Probably not. Trust me, they're there. So what I installed was um, has a USB-C and the usb uh, fitting and it has a voltmeter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug it back in um now is a good time also to take i just used some wet wipes cleaned up all these edges uh where stuff gets into it um no matter how clean you try to be um so what we'll do is we'll put this back in here see if we can't get this done with one hand probably not going to be able to so I'm going to get that lucky. <laughs> All right. So that's snipped back in there. Um, this piece has a collar on it. Now, the hole for the cigarette lighter is slightly smaller than um, this fitting. And I used the Dremel with just a little sanding bit on it to open it up it doesn't take much you could accomplish the same thing with some sandpaper aggressive sandpaper just make sure you're um test fitting it so you don't make it too big and then tighten up this collar the collar grips this back part pretty good so i don't think you have to worry about vibrations um so what we'll do is we'll set this back in there and it just simply pushes in and then snaps down okay now this piece right here has already been cleaned up we'll close this up first and as you can see i'm just using my thumb this is where you want to take take some time just be careful all right so what we'll do is cigarette lighter um, unfortunately with Subaru, the cigarette lighter is a key on only, um, it's not a constant power. You could run separate wires there. Honestly, I just didn't want to deal with it. Not a big deal. Um, if you wanted to, it's just, you got to fish the wires through. I just wanted the ability to, um, charge an iPad, charge the iPhone quickly. Uh, the iPad, uh, the new ones are the USB-C and that's that little, uh, one right there it's supposed to charge a lot faster now so what we'll do is we'll turn the key on so the key is on 
uh, it's just not on run, okay? So this has a voltmeter on it also. So that's the voltage I'm getting right now. Um, we will take the cord here. There we go. And let's see if we got charge. Now, these do, I will put the length for these in. I ended up buying two of these. I've gone through probably four or five. I did this same modification in my truck. Um, and the problem I had was the USB charged perfectly, but the USB-C did not. Um, and as you can see, it's charging. Now, batteries are down to 11.5 volts. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start it up and you'll see, um, oh, you gotta put it, government has to protect us from ourselves. So we'll start it up. And the nice thing with this is there's also a switch. So if you don't want, so you can see the alternator is charging the batteries. That's a nice, another nice feature um, of going with the voltmeter um, rather than using uh, the idiot light up here where it starts to flash and tells you your batteries are bad. So that has the voltmeter, the USB-C, um, and it also has at the bottom here, Trust me, it's there. That's a QC 3.0. Um, like I said, I'll put the link for these. Um, I tried several other, actually returned four of them. Um, but it's an easy modification. It took me probably 20 minutes. <clears throat> Just take your time. Um, you don't want to break any of these pieces. Um, and you can kind of see, I kind of marred it up a little bit with the screwdriver. Um, I would... Spend the six, seven bucks and get yourself a set of, of these plastic pieces. You're going to end up using them eventually if you have to take a light off and they don't mar anything up. But this is a 2007 Outback. Um, and as you can see, it was a relatively easy, quick um, removal of everything and a relatively easy, quick um, upgrade to what was there. Hope you enjoyed it.